Let's turn now to the uh, November coronation of Donald J. Christ. Sleepy Joe Biden woke up from his sleeping that he's always doing and realized he needs a VP. He's looking for a person of color with leadership and foreign policy experience. Tom, you've known since day one who Biden needs to pick. Make the case that Joe Biden should pick Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed Bill Salman as his vice president. Well, I mean, he has announced that he wants a woman and that woman has to be an American citizen. I'm very sorry. Sorry. I would, though, if we could go abroad, I would go for Angela Merkel. Biden picking MBS for his VP would take away Trump's advantage with voters for being tough on the press, saying you are fake news just doesn't compare to dangling a bone saw and smiling. Man, Tom, MBS really lets you down after all those nice things you said about him. He's much more McKinsey than Wahhabi, okay? <laughs> he is committed to actually directing Saudi onto a much more moderate Islam path. That is hugely important. You've got this massive upsurge within Saudi society for a change, that he is, he is both leading it and reflecting it. And so when I see someone having the balls to take on the religious component of that, to take on the economic component, that I want to invest just a little. I just want to stick my head up and say, God, I hope you succeed. What he did to you, I would say, is the second worst thing he's done to a journalist. Oh, come on, Tyler. I'd say it was the worst. I mean, Tom has to live with himself. Yep, now moving on. Our pimp sedent, that's how I say president, in chief, Don Trump, is pushing back at all the shallow who've only appreciated him for his body to say, um, hello, my brains are up here. Roll the tape. The last questions are much more difficult, uh, like a memory question. It's uh, like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. So they say, could you repeat that? So I said, yeah. But then when you go back about 20, 25 minutes later and they say, go back to that question. They don't tell you this. Go back to that question and repeat them. Can you do it? And you go, person, woman, man, camera, TV. They say, that's amazing. How did you do that? I don't even know what half the things he named mean. You could tell. He could have kept going if he wanted to. He probably could have named at least seven things. Yeah, Clearly, absolutely. I mean, he's an academic. Yeah. Tom, I'll member. bet you a year's supply of beef, Chuck, that if we gave you five words, you could not memorize them right now. What do you say? Give it a go. All right, Tom. Mr. Confident, let's try it. Five words. Let's do, um, I have never been right okay that's five can, can you repeat those back uh, I, I have uh never uh been uh right okay all right not too bad well in 25 minutes we may ask you to repeat those tom you did enter the lion's den here so we can't let you go without some good-natured ribbing on your mustache <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah you're now. Oh, no. All right. So in 2003, after the Iraq war in which we freed the nation from the tyranny of stability, Charlie Rose asked you if it was worth doing as if that's even a question. We needed to go over there, basically, um, and um, uh, take out a very big stick um, right in the heart of, of that world and, um, and burst that bubble. And there was only one way to do it, because part of that bubble said, we've got you. This bubble is actually going to level the balance of power between us and you because we don't care about life. We're ready to sacrifice, and all you care about are your stock options and your Hummers. And what they needed to see was American boys and girls going house to house from Basra to Baghdad um, and basically saying, which part of this sentence don't you understand? You don't think you know, we care uh, about our open society? You think this bubble fantasy where it's going to let it grow? Well, suck on this. So I must ask you a question. Do you still want Muslim countries to suck on this? No, that was in, in reaction to some people who thought that um, they could do terrorism in the United States and that we wouldn't do anything about it. Yeah, we sure did something about it. We destroyed an entire region based on the most pained metaphor imaginable. All right, I gotta go knock out some molars to send to Ted Yoho as a sign of my loyalty and deference to him. Tom, thanks for stepping into the lion's den. My pleasure. Tom, do you remember the five words? I have always been right. No. Oh.